The Joey Gallo play right here. Uh, let's take a look at that, and you can give me some feedback on what uh, Joey Gallo did. Yeah, right here he's playing shallow, especially with a guy like D up at the plate. But the impressive part is that he knows that that ball is tailing away. He knows it's a, le a left-handed hitter, and he knows how that ball is hit, so that he's going to have to go that extra that extra couple feet. He didn't second-guess himself in the trajectory of that ball tailing into foul territory. And he knew exactly that he had enough space to go out and make the adjustment because I think, uh, you know, that ball was hit over his head a little bit more than he anticipated, but making a great adjustment and then going with the back, the backhand grab. But, you know, knowing that you're getting close to the wall, kind of bracing and getting yourself down, that was a, that's a really good play. Now, before we move to center on that, how much do you do with a first trip into the city, especially if you're going to go play off something unfamiliar, to understand where that wall is next to foul territory? It's the first thing. It's the first thing you do as soon as you get out there. You're already looking down the lines. What does the foul territory look like? A ball that's hit over the third baseline. What's that ball going to do? How am I going to take that off the wall? Uh, is it going to hit any type of obstacle or funny angle that I'm going to have to take a different route going down the line? Uh, there's a bunch of stadiums that have very unique, very unique uh, third base clearances to where you're going to have to completely alter how you how aggressive you are. And in that case, he had just enough room to make that play. But, um, you know, that was a, it was a great play. But that's the first thing you got to do. And Kirby is gr Kirby in Baltimore is great about that. As soon as you get to a new place, he's going to hit the balls down the line and give you every possible look uh, moving forward. All right, let's hit center field. We got left field out of the way. This is great because all he does is take one quick look. That is, uh, as soon as that ball is hit, he's dropping his head. He has a general idea as to where that goes, and then he's full speed, short, quick view of where that wall is, and through practice, repetition, and just body control, he knows exactly based on the trajectory of that ball where he's going to have to make that jump. And I'll tell you what, with that Atlanta warning track, is different because uh, a lot of them differ in, differ in size. So as soon as that's another thing, as soon as you get out and you're out looking at that warning track, shagging balls, you need to know exactly how big that warning track is. Some people are really big about the noise. Is that first cleat mark right. on on um, to that warning track, knowing that you have three or four steps. Boston is a huge track. Uh, Baltimore is a big track. So for me, when I get out there, I'm counting and I'm stepping. I'm making all my steps towards the wall to so see exactly. So you can basically get to a spot in straightaway center, so to speak, and you know how many steps you had going to left center field, exactly. right center field to the gap. So perfect example in New York, I know I had 14, uh, 14 full speed strides to right center, and I had 17 to 18 because of that deep 390. And you have to know where where you're at there because that plexiglass does not does not feel real good. All right, another unique field, right field Fenway everybody talks about the green monster but right field is probably as unique as anything oh it is uh, it's one it's, I think it's one of the most unsettling right fields in the league when you look behind yourself and you see all that open ground and then especially with that <clears throat> with that down the line you have no clearance down the line so a ball that's smoked down the line you're taking a completely different route because that could bounce off you could overrun it uh, coming down. So Boston, this is almost exactly how it is. So coming right here, you get this ball off the wall. You think it's going to go down the line and you take one of these routes. It bounces off there. We'll skirt out here. Automatic double. But as soon as you anticipate that ball making that kick off, that ball goes down the line and everybody's in a heap of trouble because that's, auto that's automatic uh, stand up triple. But Scotty's play is really impressive because he understood that there is no foul territory, and he was going to have to brace himself. And so going in there, you can see him getting ready for impact, but to be brave and get in there and make that catch, it's, it's impressive. But you have to know that going in, and that starts with batting practice and getting your work in early to see exactly how that field's going to play out, every possible situation. If this ball kicks off here, I'm going to be here. It's a lot, it's a lot to think about, but as repetition, that's what you get. So kids, when you take in, uh, batting crash and you're shagging, take it seriously. Yeah, so Maddie, it seems to be common sense, but every one of these outfielders, because they're all unique, if you go in there the first trip, you figure out what you need to do when you're going to play that position, you're going to make plays like that left, center, and right that we just showed you.